I don't know how I feel about five lands, Sailor, Lofty Denial. I think I'm not a fan of that hand. Well, it's better than no lands. Okay. What is the Hall of Storm Giants? That's the, uh, the the 22nd land. Just don't question it, okay? Which three cards am I keeping? Uh, I think I'm going to keep Phantom Shacklegeist Wanderer. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense to me. Maybe it's better to keep uh, the Sailor. Mm. Yeah, Blue White, probably not that bad of a matchup. Actually, Grease Fang. Um, I might want to counter this. Protect the Shacklegeist. I'm going to counter this. All right, Republic with the song request. What you got? In the queue. Good choice. Or Lords more pressure. Yeah, maybe keeping the second Lord was good too. Could see that. Could see that. Discard a vessel. Can attack this turn, right? Because we don't have to worry about getting Grease Fanged. Run out Supreme for us and join Shackle right away. Well, I was thinking that in the scenario where they don't put a thing in the graveyard, I get one more damage this way, or two more damage this way, right? So, like, in, in a world where I'm not, I don't have to hold up the Shackle guys next turn. That's why I think it's maybe a little bit better to play. It's close, but... Because, like, if they have Fatal Push, they just end step Fatal Push either way. Okay, that's good. That's exceptional. Um, I could fire up Mutavault. Kind of a kind of aggressive to fire up Mutavault. I'm gonna attack with Shacklegeist and pass. And then when they go to combat, I can go animate Mutavault, tap Grease Fang. If they go for a push, then I just chains. He actually five would with that. There's no way, right? No, he didn't. He did. He, there's he did not five would with that. It has to be a joke. It's clearly a meme, right? <laughs> there's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. It's a hundred percent a meme, right? No, there's no way. That can't be real. So they're going to cast Chariot this turn. So I think I'm just going to jam the Rattle Chains now. Because then I can go attack for six. Attack for six, hold up a tap. It's pretty good, too. Uh, let's go curious on rattle chains because I want to. I don't want the. I don't want to incentivize them to kill the Shacklegeist. Slam for seven. Go to six. And I guess we just pass. I'm thinking about upkeep activate Mutavault. Which means if they draw exactly Fatal Push, well, that doesn't matter, right? Because if I I activate, they push in response, and I can activate again, so it's it doesn't actually matter because <clears throat> I have an extra mana up to activate a second time. This matchup does seem very very good for the spirit side of things, extremely good. Maybe this is the deck I should have recommended for the Explorer Qualifier Weekend if you're, if it just smashes Grease Fang, because there's a lot of people that are going to play Grease Fang and Explorer this weekend. So this is this is probably the way to go. Yeah, I know. This card. Ara's Dispersal. Three mana costs two less if it targets an attacking creature. Return creature to its owner's hand. Surveil two. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Two less if it targets an attacking creature. Return a creature to its owner's hand. Surveil two. What do I think about it in Rhinos? Mm. Brazen Borrower is unique in the sense that it can bounce Chalice of the Void and Teferi Time Raveler, and this card can do neither of those, so I don't think it's better than Borrower. But it could maybe be in addition to Borrower. I could see that if you wanted more copies of Borrower. The Mending Boat's annoying. Oh, fuck. They hit the boat. Yeah. So they, they're they going to target Shacklegeist and I can't tap the boat. Wow, this is disgusting. That's only a two of, by the way. <laughs> That's only a two of. It's like the only way I could have lost this game, too. All right. Resolves. God, that's so tilting. Yay. Yeah, I guess it's the same, right? They can kill this, and then I still have the tap. But aren't they... Isn't it better for them to kill the Shackle and the... Wait, what the fuck? Okay, well, they punted, so... 
<laughs> it helps when they punt. <laughs> it really helps when they punt. All right, well, I think we're going to win this game, even though we probably shouldn't, but... I guess we still don't technically have lethal. They're one point short of lethal. All right, 7-11. A punt or a juke? No, there was definitely a punt. They're supposed to wait until combat. Or they just let that resolve. There's no reason to do that now, you know? Just, it's it's pointless. Um, Do I have any way out of this? I think I probably don't. Is there anything I can draw? Attack with just this. Draw two one-drops. Animate. Tap two things. Yeah, all right, we're done. Man. Well... Guess these cards are good. Uh, what do you usually cut against them? <clears throat> Minus two Supreme per bar. You don't bring in Slip out the back? I'm down with cutting Supremes. You don't really need them against them. I kind of want to bring in Slip out the back. You don't need it. Well, I'm thinking about just cutting the extra Supremes. You know? I guess keeping a couple is fine. Yeah, I guess I'll buy that. It's close. It's not the best card. Because it's, it's awkward in the sense that, as opposed to Borrower... You're not, you're not making them spend more mana the next turn on it. It's just kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah, but slip out the back is not the best for tempoing because if you're targeting their grease fang, they don't have to spend mana on it again. Like it buys you a turn. But you think of Drog Skull Captain becoming Pioneer Legal? I kind of like that. Like the thing about Drog Skull is the Spirit deck is already kind of glutted on threes anyways. Like this deck's not even playing Empyrean Eagle. How much better is Drogskull than Eagle? I know it's better, but, like, would this deck even want Drogskull, Captain? Like, what, what would you cut for, for Drogskull? <laughs> Drogskull is broken. Well, you're a Spirits player. Of course you're going to say Drogskull is broken. I'm just... I'm not even sure what it would replace. Maybe you'd build the deck in an entirely different way, but... I don't love this hand. It does have two interactive spells. I think it's probably worth keeping, but... Not having a one-drop kind of sucks. Like, this hand just kind of gets punked if they have Fatal Push, right? They just push this while I'm tapped out, and then I have nothing. Or even a Thoughtseize. Mm, yeah, Sailor would have been nice in this hand. You do draw a card every turn of the game. That is, that is a true statement. You also can draw a Brick every turn of the game. That is allowed. Okay. I mean, they're probably going to take Borrower, right? What's up, Sphexus? How you doing, buddy? Is it the winning room? Mm, not a ton of winning today. Decidedly average day. That is a good draw. That is certainly a good draw step. Four cards in hand. Maybe I'm not supposed to play the chains here, but... Uh, surely if they had Fatal Push, they would have cast it on their end step, right? Right? Oh, it doesn't matter. I can still Snare, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You want to attack and pass? I can still cast the Snare even if they have Fatal Push, right? They have to have double Fatal Push. So they get up, like, Abrupt Decay or something. Card's really important, though. I don't know. I'm jamming. This is just how I play Magic. Maybe I'm not supposed to jam, but... <clears throat> so this do be how I play. This might be a little too aggressive, but... Alright, well, it all worked out. Yeah, it's not necessarily a, an incorrect line. It's just, like you said, it's different. Alright, well, if they have nothing, they're dead. <laughs> now I won't cast the second one. I just want to find that untapped land. Odd check, untapped land. Eh, that's probably good enough. You got me. <laughs> you got the untapped land. I don't really need it now. It's too late, but... This game's, this game's over. Gas boat. Yeah, I'm gonna counter it. I'm gonna tap one mana and counter your five mana card. This might be a little sketch, but... It's probably fine. All right, game. Went ahead and changed it to untapped land since you didn't need it. Oh, sure, 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 sure. I see, I see, I see, I see. 
Aim three. Here we go. Get a coup. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that. Hope you're having a good day today. I've had a lot of subs today. Thank you all so much for the support. I appreciate you. We also hit our sub goal. So we will now be doing a 24-hour brew stream when the new set comes out. That should be a lot of fun. They're passing? What in the shit? What in the shit? Uh, combat. <laughs> What'd they get? We got Grease Fang? Sure. It was all thanks to CD1 hype. You might get the CD1. Yeah, the Mom Brewery. I got I got some stuff in the tank for the for the for the mom set. For mom. Jello moves. Thank you for the biddies. Yeah, I, I particularly prefer the blue white version. Smoke Caller is a hell of a magic card, and the cyborg cards that white offers you are very important. Like mono blue is really bad against Rakdos, but white's a lot better because wedding announcements cracked against them. So but the Mono Blue has a bad Rakdos matchup, right? This is close. I'm going to ship it. Okay, this is better. Second Lofty, I think. Yeah, it does. It does. <clears throat> thought Sneeze. That's why I wanted to keep the second Rattle Chains. They have Thought Sneeze. Hey, dude. Not a bad one. If they cast Grizzly Salvage, would you consider loftying it? No, just let them have the Grizzly Salvage. Because then if they tap out for Grease Fang, I could just lofty that. Yeah, I'll just let them have Salvage. I think. I mean, the shitty thing about this is they know about the lofty. So they're obviously not going to play the Grease Fang into it. But the nice thing about letting this resolve is if they don't play Grease Fang, I can slam the Rattle Chains. You think so? I guess you can just go Lofty this turn and then hold up the other counter spell next turn, along with the Rattle Chains and the Wanderer. I guess, yeah, that, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Like, the fact that they know about it is is makes me want to cast it. I also might just not have a land. There is a chance of that. Okay. So I guess now they can take Snare, and then I have no interaction left over. It took Chains. Alright, they in fact did not have a land... So I get to go wander or hold up snare this turn. Might be worse than playing the spell queller. But if I like if I just draw a card and pass, they I, I'm basically telling them what I drew. And I think this kind of conceals the information a little bit more. Because like in a spot like that, maybe it's better to hold up the queller, but they like I'm just telling them what I drew if I do that, you know what I mean? Now I'm probably gonna hold up the queller. What's up, Mikey? Is San Diego nice? I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Salvage? Just came back from the zoo. I think we're going to go to the zoo on uh, on Monday. Uh, how much do I care about that? Don't care about that. Yeah, that's fine. What time? I am leaving on... I'm leaving tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. And I arrive in California at like 9 p.m. California time. It's kind of a late flight. I wouldn't mind drawing a land here. Well, not that land. Yeah, I'm going to pass here. Yeah, it's a bit of a later one, but I'm actually, to make up for it, I'm staying a lot later on Monday. Like, my flight out on Monday doesn't leave until about 8 p.m., so I, I get a lot more time to see, to do some sightseeing on uh, on Monday. I don't know if we're going to go to the zoo, or somebody had suggested, had made a good recommendation of there's like a, I think it's like a medieval escape room that I might want to check out on Monday. I'll have to see what the rest of the group wants to do. Wither Bloom Command. Kind of don't want them having a land here. I'm, I'm casting the Snare because it's the one they know about. I don't know if that's better or worse than casting the Queller, but can this deck even animate all the Storm Giants? Uh, I mean, technically it can, right? <clears throat> You've done it. Gotta play some long games, but... Carded Boat. Okay. That's pretty good. Draw a card. Go. It, it does run more than six lands, yeah. I guess they could go Grease Fang plus Removal Spell... 
But if they have a removal spell, I can just crack the Wanderer. I mean, obviously, I don't want to crack the Wanderer, but... If I have to... Remind, of course, it's Abrupt Decay. Was I not supposed to counter the Witherbloom command? Guess maybe I wasn't supposed to counter the command. I don't know. It's frustrating. Hmm. I don't know. They were just like... I feel like they were still missing missing land drops and stuff. Of course, they had exactly boat again, too. I'm supposed to quell the command. Would that have changed anything? I don't think it would have. Right? I don't think it changes anything. Like, what's the difference there? I mean, I just can't beat the boat, so who cares, but... That was really tilting. Snare the Grease Fang, they can't get it back with their Decay. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I was just like... I was thinking that maybe it wasn't worth giving up the information. You know what I mean? Because, like, they knew I had the Snare, but they didn't know about the Spell Queller... So if I use the spell queller, they know that I still have the snare left over. But maybe that's just bad logic. Mm, sand sucks. GG's. Yeah, that matchup's supposed to be a buy too. I also I, I think I played like shit, but info doesn't really matter since they can't really do anything about it anyways. Maybe yeah. They also could have had thoughtsies though, so it's like I don't know. Should be a buy, but not when I'm a dumbass. Auto green. Let's jam this, right? I think I'm going to main phase the sailor. Because why not? Mm -mm -mm. Counter was a put you hard to cold the hard cast boat. That's a good point, too. If I use the Geist Light Snare and, and then I... If I use the Geist Light Snare... Oh, I see what you're saying, but... Okay, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. I guess I split these up. How can they possibly win this game? <laughs> We're just done here, right? We're done. This game is so over. Ooh, Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. What a Chad. What a Chad. Anyways, uh, you're dead. They're on some BS. Yeah. Oh, they ramp ramp. They ramp it rampin. Three, six, seven... They're just dead, right? Exaxes. Pretty sure this is Exaxes. I think I I think I did my math right. I know I'm not very good at math, but sounds like ten to me. All right, good game, <laughs> good game. Turn four, by the way. All right, do we sideboard anything against Mono Green, or do we just say Keck W nice deck? Yeah, it was anybody's game. They're not playing elves. I don't think so, right? Well, they showed us, like, Oath of Nyssa carried it. Maybe Borrower to bounce some big idiot that resolves. I could just run it back. I don't think I need to do much. I don't want to just run it back. Yeah, but we have Geist Light and Lofty for Atarka. Uh, the sand slaps, right? Yeah, the sand's cracked. Company I keep. Sand is nutso. <clears throat> What's up, JS? Zero. Mm -mm -mm. Uh oh. Chat Monka S. Chat Monka S. Please don't ever resolve that card. If they have Cavern of Souls, we lose. Cannot beat a Cavern of Souls this game. Man, they love casting Ponder. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, is that better? I think so. We can go Obsession, hold up Snare. So I am after all. Your turn. Would you counter an Elvish Rejuvenator? I don't want to. Maybe this is dumb, but... Yeah, Tom Bar donated for Stock Spirits. I do have extra counters. Alright, now we're chilling. Definitely gonna hold up Queller this turn. So we can Queller this turn, next turn Phantom and uh, Chains. I think we can kind of just click buttons at random. I don't think it matters too much. I can just counter every spell they play for the rest of the game. 
<laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's why we're playing spirits. 26, go to 10. No, this is this is fine, I think. Yeah, this is fine. Ah, this song is cracked. Chat, Doom Jam, Doom Jam, Doom Jam. Uh, that does not do anything, I think. You can have that. What is this deck? Our deck or our opponent's deck? Our opponent appears to be playing a strategy that involves making mana and ramping. Ramping. Lots and lots of ramp. Yeah, very, very rampy. Do they have fog? I could beat fog anyways. Spatial contortion? My brother in Christ. Alright, I guess you got me. You got me. Alright, you got me. They still can't win, but... <laughs> They're gonna tap 7 mana, cast an Atarka, and it's gonna get countered. Maybe they'll cast Eugene. Right now, watching in the Rocket League Championship winner. Sick, sick, sick. That's awesome. Yeah, there's some cool stuff going on in San Diego. Think I wasn't going to have the counter spell? What do you think this is? Get out of here. Get out of here with those Atarkas. Or spell. Uh, I think this is a keep. It's close. I'm going to keep it, though. One drop feels bad, man, but it's got everything else. Is this Neoform? That's the Neoform matchup. I would assume it's good. Took Smelly Quelly. Classic Thoughtseize Bug. Hootie Mandrel's Beatdown. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you don't really have like a, a, a nice clean answer to Hootie Mandrel's. <laughs> no, it's not Grease Fang. <laughs> I wish it was Grease Fang. You can have that. Not that I can do anything about it anyways, but... You can have it. So you don't have enough cards in the graveyard. I hope, really hope they don't have Fatal Push here. Seems like they do. It's obviously Acerac. Clearly Acerac with Thoughties and Consider. They will simply just not have the Fatal Push. They will simply just not have the Fatal Push. Why do they always have the Fatal Push? Uh, no, I'm gonna pass. Mm -mm. Okay, that's fine. I like jamming wonder. I was thinking about it, but if they have a second fatal push, it gets kind of dicey. That's why I didn't want to play the wander there. Like if I play second wander, they go end step fatal push, untap delve creature. I'm in a really bad spot because then I can't really fight over a uh, a neo form at that point. They say go to be gas queller. I'm like thinking about quelling this. It's 16. I quell this, they play Hooting Mandrills, untap, attack for two, play Wander, hold up snare. I can even go, I can even go obsession, hold up snare. Like I wanna, well the thing is I wanna get something, I just wanna get pressure into play, you know what I mean? And they can't combo me this turn. They don't, they can't, they don't have enough mana to, um, <clears throat> to what you call it. Yeah, I mean, I guess letting this resolve and snaring the mandrills, but they're just not going to cast the mandrills. If I don't, sp if I don't spell claw this, they're just going to pass. Like, I don't really care that they resolve this. I don't think I do. Because now we just go here, right? Yeah, we can race one hoodie mandrills. Would love to find a blue source of mana. Untapped blue mana would be nice. That's very good. So now, now I think I probably just jammed the Wanderer. Yeah, I could jam the Wanderer here. Mm -mm -mm. Not if they Neoform. Well, if they Neoform, I just cast Snare, right? I guess they could have land, Neoform, Stub. And they go land, Neoform. Oh, no, because they lose the 4-4. I can just pay for Stub at that point, right? Even if they have land, Neoform, Stub, I still beat that. There's not much we can get got by here. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. I am playing Spirits. Good deck. Very, very good deck. Land Thoughtseize Neoform. Uh, true. That's a good point. 
So I snare, they stub, I wanderer, but then what happens if their last card's Neoform? Can I race this? Three, four. Like, I can just go untap, phantom, attack for seven, they go to six. I think I can race this, right? Yeah, they're just dead in two turns with the Lord, right? I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let this go. They can have it. Because I just go untap, play phantom, attack for seven, they go to six. And then I still have double counterspell up with the Wanderer, right? I think this is fine. <laughs> Session is free. Mm, not if I draw another Snare. Or a Lofty. Okay, well that might have been free. Uh, I'm not going to play the Obsession now. But I was thinking that, like, if I tap the Adarkar Waste... Oh, I guess I had enough mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess I should have played the Obsession there. You're right, you're right, you're right. I should have played the Obsession. For some reason, I thought I wouldn't have enough to go Obsession and Snare. Oh, I wouldn't have had enough for Lofty if I drew Lofty. Because I'd only have two mana left over. So I couldn't go Obsession and then hold up Snare Lofty. But maybe I don't need to. Now, this line even beats land... But they can't have land Neoform stub because they only have two cards in their hand. Sure? Just let that go? Their last card's Neoform. I just have the Wanderer, right? Counter this. What's the point? It doesn't matter. They have one card. They're just dead. They did. <clears throat> they did. Counter it for content. Oh, they're going to hope that I have sixth. Guess what? I didn't have six. <laughs> F6 check passed. F6 check passed. Are you going to let me you're going to let me go off with my curious obsessions? Well, if you're going to let me go for style points then I don't know. That's what they deserve for the F6 check. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, the spirits are dancing. The spirits are dancing. Lost some style points and not enchanting mutable. That is true, yeah. That is a good point. Alright, what do you want against them? Slip out the back, probably? That one's good against the Traxa. Maybe Borrower? You don't cut Lords against them, do you? Eh, I think Silence is a little bit too narrow. Because they can just go, like, Creature plus Neoform in the same turn, right? I'm just not sure what to cut. Like, I like bar where I, like, slip out the back, but I really don't know what I'm supposed to cut. I can cut lords. Isn't racing them important, though? Kind of? Like, I, 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 like that game, for example, I think is a is a, a great reason to keep the lords in. It's kind of how you race multiple delve creatures. They have more removal inside board. Yeah, I guess they board into more of a grindy deck. So maybe you can do, like, this. Maybe just no slip out the backs. Shacklegeist is very, very good. This is how you can beat or resolve the tracks, I think. Would you rather have Slip Out the Back than Lords? I guess we could do something like this. Alright, we could try that. We could try that. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to ever cut Sailor. You need all the one drops. I don't think there's any matchup where you ever cut a one drop. Well, Lancer Bear is different though. It sucks ass. I meant the good one drops, okay? The good one drops. This card sucks shit. Where are the Skyclaves? Is there a reason this deck doesn't play Skyclave? I guess you just want to play more at instant speed. I would imagine that this matchup is good for us, yeah. I think so. I was looking at lists last night. They usually play like one or two copies of this. As like the ninth one, ninth or tenth one drop. It sucks, but it is the next best one drop, you know. Yeah, it's just flying men. That seems good. Keep this. Turn one hall. It's the best turn to play hall. Uh, what is the backside? It just gives plus one, plus one flying, right? Yeah, lanterns lift. <laughs> I, whoa, I mean, I didn't know you'd do that. I didn't know that's what the card did. Kinda, it's kind of sus of you to say that, Tonber. A very sus statement. Mm, 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 mm. I think we're going to maybe try and get a fourth league in. Maybe. We'll see how long this goes. This, this one shouldn't take too much longer, but... Thank you, JS. Guys, I just did it. What, what, what did you just do? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Sailors seem like the easy take. <clears throat> yeah, they did it with CD1. CD1, CD1, CD1. 
Oh, they killed someone with lanterns lift. Oh, that's why. That's why. Yeah, all right. You got it. God, th this deck deals themselves so much damage. It's really not that hard to race them. Assuming that they don't... Assuming you don't let them put a Trax into play. Like, it's really not that hard to just kill them. Mm, so they can't combo me next turn, right? So I think I'm free to play Shacklegeist. Yeah, it should not be playable in Pioneer. It's a lot of Shocklands, but... 25 Naked Spirits. They're gonna stub me? You gonna stub me? Gonna stub me? All right, White Source. Interesting. Um, if I cast Curious Possession, you think I can bait a removal spell? Because then I can bounce the Mandrills. Is that a good setup for me? Obsession, they stub, then I jam Borrower. Do they know about the Borrower? They do. They probably just let Obsession resolve, right? But the problem is if they have Fatal Push, I kind of have to fight over it. <laughs> and then if I fight over it, then they just resolve Neoform, right? So... Isn't that awkward? So, like, I Obsession, they push, I Lofty, attack for three, then they just go slam Neoform. I don't know if that's really where I want to be. Just let the Fatal Push resolve? I guess. It's kind of rough, though. You're just, like, okay with trading the push for the Obsession? Maybe. All right, all right, all right. I'll go for it. I think there's, like, a twitch.tv slash dreamhack magic or something like that specs. That's the last time that they did it. They had it there, and I assume it'll probably be the same channel. But I'm not 100% positive. That would be my guess. All right, they are going for stub. This is much better for me. Uh, I will let that resolve. I will cast Petty Thefts. I think this worked out a lot better for me. That they had stub and not Fatal Push. Was that a dream hack? That was a long time ago. Was, was that actually a dream hack event? Aaron Gertler winning with Adventures? I thought that was like a... MC or something. Yeah, that lineup is a lot worse if they had exactly Fatal Push, but it is probably my best play against Dub. Like, with them knowing about the, um... Get the card on top. I was gonna say, with them knowing about the Borrower, were they even supposed to fight over that? Dreamhack on Arena PC. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. So it was like when they were playing... Okay. Gotcha. That sounds kind of familiar. Okay, now we just win, right? They go to 8... I think I'm just not playing anything. No, because if I not if I don't play anything, I don't have two interactions up. I'll play Wanderer. Mm -mm -mm. And even if they have a discard spell, I have two two-mana counters. Big Hoots? You can have Big Hoots. Yeah, that resolves. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> yeah, you can have one monkey as a treat. It's all yours. Don't spend it all in one place, though. Thankfully, this isn't Ragavan. It's not the it's not the broken monkey. It's the other monkey. You know, there's two Ragavans that are legal in Pioneer now. Um, actually, it's an ape. They should have put the uh, what's the based flavor text from the the OG ape? I want a banana this big. They should have put that flavor text on this thing. It's Gorilla Titan, right? What in my head? Mm, 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 mm. Um, actually, it's an ape. Combat. Back. Go. There not there an art of monkeys doing it? <laughs> doing what, you ask? Doing what? Is that a reference? Are you trying to say something? Ragavan wouldn't see play if it was printed into Pioneer. It gets blocked by Shieldred, dies to a braid, both of which are 4-ups and 60% of the format. There's no shot Ragavan would even make the main deck of anything. Maybe fringe sideboard play. Very, very well said. Very, very well said. Yeah, we gotta hold up the Spell Queller. Oh, Orangutan? I'm dumb. I know you know that, but I'm dumb. Alright, let's do a little zooming. Oh, it literally. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I never noticed this. Huh? That's very, very sus. Very, very, very sus. 
What are those monkeys doing over there, huh? What are those monkeys doing over there? Uh, yeah, you can't have that one. Uh, I would like to counter. Oh, it costs two. Uh... Wait, did I actually fuck this up? Chat, did I fuck this up? They can't stub. Yeah, but they can have Dispute. I guess I didn't really have a line that was good against Dispute, right? They need double stub. They just need Dispute. Hmm. I think I may have screwed this up. Alright, you can have that. No. Maybe this is still fine? Kind of? I don't think you should have let Mandrills dissolve. Yeah, maybe I should have fought over Mandrills. One drop is also good. Well, it's not tapped this turn is the issue. It did find Fatal Push too. Oh, I guess one drop is good enough either way, right? Because if they... No, because they can Fatal Push this. Oh, but then I just sack, right? Okay, so one drop is lethal regardless. Is the Legacy Donor League going to YouTube? Uh, I... It's all up to the editor. I don't act... Like, I don't... Honestly, Seth, I don't even... I don't do anything with the YouTube. It's all up to the editor. I, I can message them. I'll actually do that right now. So we can get it out before it while I'm while I'm in California. Uh, slips in. Oh yeah, we can find slip too, I guess. Founding Neoform Swamp Dispute. Alright, so slip is lethal and any one minute card. Well, slip or a one drop. Alright, that should be good, right? Wonder, rattle chains. X proof, I guess this. Okay, I do that. Tap your idiot. Don't have six. Good game. Just PM them in the chat. Why do you always want me to BM people? <laughs> Why are you all about the BM life? Didn't didn't want to F6 check me this time? They F they F right, play first. Uh, yeah, man. That's great. We got the bearer. Are we going to get to nut if we uh, flash back the lantern's lift? We can successfully, uh, successfully bust. I'm talking about bank buster, okay? Don't get it twisted. Have I tried the mono white devotion Yori on list for Pioneer? No, not yet. Swamp. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Did I be a new for him? Yeah, I did. See, that was your wife typing, right, Clyde? I call your friends about the new day with the death of the old day. I think I'm going to rattle chains here. <laughs> Look, you said it. <laughs> you were the one who said it, not me. Shit, it is mono black pile. Why did you have to say those words, Donber? Why did you have to say those words? We're 0% against mono black pile. <laughs> As a way of apologizing, I should be in this person in chat. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. I cast Fatal Push. <clears throat> I don't know. I just, like, cannot possibly win this game. <laughs> Game's over. Game is over. Your turn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Game's over. Game's over. With the death of the old <laughs> if they cast a gifted eighth the board, I could start the bus. If I start the bus, you mean you mean uh board my plane? Is that what you mean by that? Bro, we're gonna get him with these halls, just you wait. We're gonna kick their kick their shit in with these halls. I wonder if I played an untapped land there, if they would have even gone for the fatal push. Yeah, you thought we had one hall in our deck? Nah, we got two. Two! Two halls, baby. Two halls, one spirit. That's a fucking chariot. I can beat that. I think. Well, not if I don't draw a spell. Mm, do I win this race? 11, 8, 16, 5, 10, 2. I, like, lose it by exactly one turn. But if I draw any spell... Yeah, I gotta attack, I think. What's up, Gaz? Any egg hunts plans this plans this weekend? Well no, I'm gonna be in California. Are you gonna are you gonna Gaz, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to San Diego this weekend.
Yeah, it's not a great spot. I wonder if we can hide eggs in San Diego. Are there any any egg hunts? <laughs> Stop! Stop! Scoos. Mm. Alright, let's draw a card main phase, I think. I know you do, that's why I said that. <sighs> I figured out my out. It's not a very good out, but I, fi I figured out my way to win this game. The way to win is let them attack with everything and hope they only leave back one blocker. Actually, I can beat two blockers, right? And step tap a blocker, untap, land, animate, tap a second blocker. That's my way to win. It's my, I think that's my only way out this time. Mm, they can gain three off the ooze, though, is the issue. The hall's online next turn. Well, if I tap the cherry, do you think they attack with both? They might attack with both if I tap the chariot, so I'm just going to do this, actually. I mean, I guess they probably don't do that into the hall, right? Oh, never mind. I mean, they might just have push for hall anyways, but... What's in San Diego? The regional championship. Regional championship. Well, we have a blocker beat. Because if they just go blocker, I go untap, tap your blocker, animate, that's nine. I have one blocker exactly beat. Oh, if they push Hall, I can't possibly win, but I have no I have no chance if they push Hall. Like, I can't beat Fatal Push on Hall anyways. There's no point in playing around that. You know what I mean? Oh, they just died. Because <laughs> even if they have pushed, they can't push the Hall. <laughs> oh, man. I'm definitely not walking. No, I'm, 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 my flight leaves tomorrow at, like, 4.30. And cooking again, I might have to shoot you a donor deck. All right, was it the, uh, it, is it the Grease Fang Mox Amber deck? Because I actually played that in Explorer last night. How do you ever win the next two games? I got your answer right here. Let's go. Let's do it. Figured out how to beat the uh, Mono Black Pile. Guy Slate out on the draw. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan when I played it last night, Danny. It felt close. Like, maybe there was something there, but... You don't got the Lords in this matchup? I guess too many threes. Like, my thinking was Lord's bad because they have they just kill all your shit. You can't go wide against them. No, Slip is bad. You don't want Slip in this matchup. Trim Phantom for Slip. I kind of want to go, like, two Phantom, two Snare for the wedding announcements. That's what I was thinking. That was my initial reaction. We could cut the Lantern Bearer, too. Maybe we cut, like, Lantern Bearer for second Borrower? I could fuck with that. How <laughs> will we bust if we cut Bearer? Yeah, it's not that great against them, though. I guess we'll just have to settle for not busting. No busting, Sag. This hand's great. This hand is incredible. We even got the hall, too. Win condition acquired. <clears throat> Win condition acquired. Yeah, we're never we're never busting. Never busting. One of these days we'll we'll be able to bust. One of these days, chat. It's okay. Not today. I'm gonna bust this weekend. I got four of those fuckers in my deck. Yeah, no seize, no fatal push. I do like that. Some shitty two drop. Scavenging ooze, go. Man, part of me just wants to say go. No, I'm playing Rakdos Atraxa. I think I'm gonna say go, yeah. I think I like that. You won the lottery. You know, California's not that far from Vegas. I'm just saying. Mm -mm -mm. Abrupt decay. If only I had the chains. I do not have the chains. Big Sedge. Maybe they'll tap out for a 3-drop. On cast like Lily out of the Veil or some shit. Some boomer-ass card. Opponent, you're supposed to cast a 3-drop there. Mm -mm. Alright, go. I think. Play Wanderer. Nah, I'll pass. Your new hammer list is Kappa. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I imagine that's a bad thing. Castle makes this a little awkward. All right, I'm gonna go untap land wanderer. I think. Go. Weller is good against decay. Yeah. Wrong emote. Well, you said kappa, so I'm holding you to it. We have the we have the we have the logs. Yeah, that's fine. I think four in hand. Here, whatever. I mean, they haven't realized they haven't located our real win condition here. Mm -mm. No. No. That is not... That was a really good draw step. Holy shit, that draw step. <laughs> that was a really good draw. 
have three in hand? Yeah, no car rides for you. Thoughts on just not casting the Rattle Chains. I'm kind of with it. Well, I mean, if they're going to do something, then. Yeah, you definitely can't have that. Absolutely not. You definitely cannot have that one. No Joels for you. No Joels for you. Yeah, I'm definitely not casting this Chains now. No shot I'm casting it. No shot I'm casting it. Back and fuck it up. Mm -hmm. See, I think Tonber secretly enjoys playing blue way control, and this is how he copes with, with playing blue way control, but actually playing creatures, you know what I mean? I think you're secretly a blue way control enjoyer. Mm -mm. Any Jocelyn? What about Jocelyn? What about it? Do you like the model blue matchup with Rakdos Atraxa? No, it's it, far and away the worst matchup, but I don't think that a lot of people are going to play model blue, so... I think there will be a lot less mono blue. Okay, that's a little dicey. What's the worst possible scenario for me? Extinction event? Right, it's fine. If they have event, they'll take lofty. Probably take lofty anyways, but... Event's not the end of the world. I mean, they're gonna name odd, right? There's no chance they're naming even here. Okay, I think we still win. I think we can beat this. We're gonna flash and shackle. Playing up the league after this. I think we should have time to do CD1. Uh, we can draw a card. I think we hold back. Yeah, we just play defense here, right? I think we play defense. It's nice to draw a card though. I'm gonna I'm gonna play defense. I'm gonna play defense. Because then we have chains up if they draw a removal spell. Easy attack. <clears throat> but you think you think not attacking there is crazy? Mm, I think it's close. I guess we still beat the chariot in the race, right? They go to seven, we go to sixteen. Yeah, I guess we win the race anyways. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Well, they drew an unplayable card, so <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we'll be okay. I think I think we'll be okay. Draw cards by attack. No, I know that, but like I almost think the blockers are more important, like having this one blocker here. But I guess I'm not... Yeah, that was dumb. I'm, I'm not losing the race either way. Alright. You have activated my trap card. Cowards can't block cats. That is true. <laughs> Tap your homie. Alright, you may proceed. They're attacking... All right, I'll take two. Five, they go to six. I don't even play the chains here. Uh, well, that's game. It was already kind of game, but... It was already game. Now it's even more game. I guess, in theory, they could draw, like, Extinction Event on even? But I can quell that. Yeah, it's fine. All right, 4-1 Prediction. Our only loss this league was Grease Fang, which is kind of funny, because that's, like, our best matchup. All right, chat, it's time to Gamba. It is time to Gamba. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. This hand is insane. I keep... This deck is just free wins, huh? <laughs> this deck is just cracked. Mm -hmm. This matchup is good, right? I'm not going to say it's a buy, but it's definitely a good matchup. <laughs> Unlosable. Well, Tonber said it was a buy, so... Oh, yeah. Why is my F2 not working? Hello? Now it's working. That was weird. They did nothing. Proceed. Unlosable has been declared. Did we fight over Sylvan Scrying? Oddly enough, I kind of want to fight over that. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to fight over that. It's kind of weird, but I think I am supposed to fight over that. Yeah, it's just like it, it's it it basically just moats me. Brick walls my entire team. <laughs> you ever just counter a one four that does nothing? Just countering a one four. 
I guess I probably would have also countered a grazer there, to be fair. You can have an impulse, that's fine. I accept. <clears throat> you can only win if in the post board games you fail your man that I only played remote good, you can't tap it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I'm gonna cast bar over here just to be mana efficient, because then I can go next turn chains and lofty. So I think it's better to use all my mana here. It's also more damage. So we got Borrower here. They take five, go to 11. And then three, four, five, six, seven. We're two damage short next turn. So Lord is lethal. Uh, All right, your turn. You may proceed. Borrower bounce has some utility. Kind of, it like, can maybe help you against Leer and some shit. Leer Omniscience, but... I'm gonna go Chains Shacklegeist here. I guess I should have protected the Sailor, but... Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, in those situations, you just counter the, uh, the ultimatum, right? This game's not lasting two more turns, so there's no reason to play the Coast. Mm -hmm. I guess, in theory, they could go, like, pour over the pages. Well, I can't counter that. Countering that does not accomplish anything. Is there a world where they have enough mana to kill me? 4, 7, 10. They can't ultimate and pay. Yeah, if they have one more strings, they can pour. So, if I lofty this, they go to 1. So, the funny thing is, if I lofty this... They can't ultimate them without another strings, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. 3, 4, 5, 11. No, it's ac I think it's actually good to lofty this. Because if I let this go, they have triple blue, double green. They can just they can just cast. They have 11 total mana. They can cast ultimatum and pay. Maybe that's fine, though? Because if they go... Yeah, if they go ultimatum with no mana floating, that's fine, I think? Because that's not lethal. All right, I don't know. I'm just going to... I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to counter this, but... We're looking on CD1 potential. It is 646, huh? Yeah, we could do it. This match is not pro probably not going to last more than 15 minutes. So we'll do it. We'll do it. I'll, I'll commit to it. Do you have an updated list, or is it just the same list that you sent? <laughs> All right, whatever, F6. I'm not going to BM everyone in chat, though. No, that's not going to happen. Well, this is now lethal, right? If they have ultimatum. Ultimatum 2 floating. I also can't Odawara now. I needed one more mana. I mean, in my defense, they kind of had to have the perfect hand to beat a single counter spell, so... I guess maybe I wasn't supposed to counter the Fey? I don't know. Was that... That seemed right, I think. Yeah, but the thing is, if they have enough mana, they can easily beat Odawara, I think. Okay, this is a good sign for us. I think. Because they return poor... Which means I think they bricked. <clears throat> Feel free to make any changes. It's pretty clear what the 12 builder on cards are. Okay, I gotcha. <coughs> we'll, we'll, <coughs> we'll look at the list after. Yeah, I felt like countering Faye was good at the time. I mean, this is this is a good sign for us. They still might just brick. Somehow, I don't know how they could possibly brick. They've gone through half of their deck. Yeah, I mean... How is this possible? How have they cast, like, a million cantrips and gone through half of their deck? What is going on here? Like, surely I'm dead, right? What's up, Ash? Posted your brew. I saw it, yeah. I replied to you in the Discord, so. Alright, I don't know how the fuck that happened, but... <laughs> nice deck. Nice deck. If there was ever a time to BM someone, it's now. Alright, so we want Deafening Silence Ob. Cut the Lantern Bearer, maybe? Or cut the... No. How many borrowers do you want against them? I guess Shacklegeist can probably go. Yeah. Shave a Shacklegeist, maybe. I think one borrower's good. Kind of want a second one for those situations where they get Omniscience or Leer. Maybe it's worse than the draw, though. All right, well, I'll, tr I'll try one. One of, by the way. One of, by the way.
Uh, I kind of want to slow roll it. Yeah, I think I'm going to slow roll it. Urtai and Giada looks insane in blue white spirits. Which one's Urtai and Giada? I don't know what that card is. Sailor. I am going to cast Sailor. This thing has flash. <laughs> I'm going to cast Sailor. Chat when they don't realize that Sailor has flash. Go play around dispute. Do you care that much if they dispute it? I guess you kind of do. Hmm. I guess there's a discussion to be had there. Yeah, there's a discussion to be had there. I'm definitely doing this, and then this. Yeah, I'm just going to go in this turn. I think. Right, good luck. I guess now if they have if they have a stupid 1-4, this could get awkward. <laughs> I just hold up counter. So it's awkward because if I hold up counter and the next turn goes silence, hold up counter, I actually can't cast a counter spell on my turn if they have something, but I don't know, it's close. Opponent's playing Lotus Field. Mm -mm -mm. What's up, JS? Blue green. Say what you wanted to. I can't beat that card. Grazer is broken. I can't beat it. Our Burial Grazer is actually broken. Unbeatable. I guess it would have been okay to counter that. Would you have countered the Grazer? You probably would have. It's fine, we'll just draw a Lord. I will simply just draw a Lord. Oh. <laughs> that makes things a lot easier. <laughs> that, that makes things a lot easier. <laughs> oh, that makes things a lot easier. Grazer is their best card in the matchup. Oh, they have the Fae of Wishes, too. Alright, you can go. Good luck. I'm not casting a spell the rest of the game. I'm gonna counter all yours. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna cast the Chains this turn. Mm, I've drawn very well this game. Except for the Grease Bang match. Playing out of Fae the Lotus Player feels so bad. Not if it's brickwalling a, you know, double self-howling mine, you know? You do what you gotta do. Yeah, holding up Rattle Chains, Blank Soda War, too. That's a good point, yeah. They play Blast Zone? Yeah. <laughs> That is a card. That is certainly a card. They do Blade Blast Zone, yeah. So if they cast a Scrying, we probably have to counter that. Speaking of Grazer, you're going to try Spike's Titan Titanless Amulet deck. That deck looks so sweet. I mean, I'm still kind of anti-modern, but that might be the deck that gets me back into it. Deck looks sweet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's like that. All right. Sure. All right, you got me. You got me. Deck. Yeah, we at least got a card out of it, out of the first obsession. Don't think they played Blast Zone for a long time. Really? It's kind of surprising. It feels kind of free to just have one copy in your deck if you have Sylvan Scrying, right? There's not much downside. All right. Might lose this one, chap. <coughs> Besage you now. There's a lot of spots where Blast Zone gets you out of some tricky spots where Besage is not good enough. Like, I agree with you, Besage is, is more powerful when you're fighting over one specific hate piece, but Blast Zone is a lot more unique. Gets you out of weird, weird situations. I feel like most lists I've seen have only on three Besage you, but maybe I'm wrong. What's up, Elijah? Mm, 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 mm. So that's going to get Besage you. Yeah, I'm going to counter this. All right, I have an enchantment, duh. <laughs> I have an enchantment, duh. But it has to find a spell. It's obsession, the best curiosity effect they printed. Um, Probably, yeah. For the decks that want that type of effect. It's not a combo card, but <clears throat> in, like, boggles and, and decks like this, it's definitely the best one. Right, yeah. Yeah, two in the graveyard, though. Would be a nice draw. I guess. I don't want to give them a draw three. <clears throat> this game is getting kind of dicey. Uh, do I want to play towards the hall? 14, 12. I'm only, I'm only going to have 11 damage next turn. Assuming I draw it on tap land. It's so close. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but inside costs two, you know?
like I agree with you, Insight is a more powerful card, but it costs two mana, which is a lot more than one mana, especially for those decks where typically the decks that want that type of effect are really low on lands. I mean, if Insight costs if, if Insight costs one mana, it would be broken. Maybe not broken, broken, but it would be really good casting. Mm -mm. <sighs> so that's going to cast Sylvan Scrying, which gets Besaju. It's not good. One... Mm, no, they don't have the chump block, right? Yeah, they can just take 11. I was going to say they have the chump block next turn, but they don't. So even if I draw an untapped land, I still don't have the chump block. You want to see the list? Yeah, if you want to send it, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I was playing towards the hall, but maybe it wasn't that good. So I can draw main phase, which is potentially good if I can find Curious Obsession. It's probably not going to be good enough, but... Close. All right, we lost. Game's over. Who let him cook again has been called. Ooh, knights? Or Sword of Forge and Frontier. I do love me some knights cards, I will say that. Knights are very pog. Three bodyguard, three Skrelv. I think you want four venerable knights. Probably four bodyguards, too. I might go, like... I feel like... Why do you have so many swords? I guess to pair with Fervent Champion... Maybe you just don't play portable hole main deck. More more bodyguard, more knights. It's close, but deck looks sweet. I like it a lot. Yeah, I guess they can brick again. <clears throat> oh, right. I forgot this turns on my lofty denial. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, but they have Leer. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Never mind. They have Leer. Fine. Mm, 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 mm. Kind of want to scoop because I'm trying to play a fourth league, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hit humans with a 11 4 Adelina unblockable with double strike. Sheesh, that's crazy. I guess Skrelv makes the swords a lot better. That's a good point. Yo, what's yo? Alright, you win. I scoop. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, all right, let's do it. Game was lost with the no counter on Grazer. What did I do the turn? The turn that I didn't counter the Grazer, what did I do instead? Oh, I guess silence. Yeah, I guess you're supposed to just sandbag this to like the last possible turn. <laughs> Cast silence with ultimatum on stack. Okay, this hand's insane. A little bit weak to verdict, but <laughs> I guess we have Queller, so maybe we're not that weak to verdict, depending on how their hand looks. Just please don't play Grazer, thank you. Ooh, do we think they have Dispute? Eh, I'm still gonna play this. Good chance they have Dispute. Oh, they don't have Dispute. All right. Yeah, it is a really hard card to play around. You kind of just have to jam. I agree. <clears throat> It's worth considering a little bit, but you just can't afford to play around that card. That is pretty good. And they're going to take a turn off here, too, so we can just deploy the Borrower. Impulse? You have an Impulse. So, even if they Verdict me, we go Borrower, attack for 6, they go to 8. And they... Yeah, they're just dead if they have Verdict. Because they go Lotus Field this turn, I play Borrower... They go to 8. Next turn, they Verdict, and I just jam the Queller. So we should be good. <clears throat> I have heard ABR's new album. I, I don't know if I like it that much. It's okay. It's not too bad. Not one of their best, for sure, but it's very different. It's got a different vibe to it, you know? Very, very different vibe. I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. I'm actually I'm seeing ABR next week, because they're touring for the album. CD1. What if they have double Verdict? Well, they're going to lose after the first verdict gets quellered, so. <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't say that I'm soaked, but I'm I'm moist. Does that count? Does moist count? Chat, chat loves the word moist. Moist. Mm, moist. Moist. They go triple grazer. Uh, then we can scoop. 
they have triple grazer they wanted it more mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. so what happens if i cast spell queller i have dispute and then lose to the two counter spells anyways yeah but i don't know how they're beating the two counter spells I'm, i might as well just cast it like who cares <clears throat> it seems impossible to lose this game when I have two counter spells, regardless of what they have here. Yeah. All right, easy. We lost to Grease Fang, which is kind of tough, but smash the next four. I mean, yeah, this deck's great. <laughs> this deck's incredible. Uh, I haven't played a ton of spirits before, but after that league, maybe I should start playing some spirits. This deck's great. Finally get to open some chests tonight. Let's do it. Oh, Chad, that's a good one. I'm gonna Nashi Nashi